Okay then, hello, this is part one of Neon Zero Blue and Mr. Dudes, a.k.a. X-Dude, a.k.a. a bunch of other names. Say hello. Hello. And D-Man's videos, which is my channel. Okay, yes, that too. We are going to be showing you how to modify a unmodifiable PSP, essentially. Yes. Okay. In the description of the video will be a download link, probably two or three, to one archive. You only need to download it from one of the three sources. Most likely Mega Upload, Rapid Share, and possibly my website. Slower, but it'll always be up, just so you know. Once you have the archive, I have it right here on my desktop already. You're going to right click it, 7-zip, and extract here. You can choose to use WinRAR, or you can choose to use 7-zip. It doesn't really matter as long as it can open the archive. You notice that there actually is a password. Thank you very much. You want to hold the shift button and type in IVI, let go of shift, and then type in R. Hit enter, and there you go. It's a little four-digit password just to annoy some people, basically. Extracting, 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 extracting. Damn, I forgot. This thing's 155 megabytes. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! And it's done. Now we have our folder. Inside here, you're basically just going to highlight and copy all these to the root of your PSP and overwrite any existing file for any reason why it might be there or not. It shouldn't, though. It shouldn't. Just so you know. To make it easier, I would just delete everything on your memory stick and just drag this all over. Yeah, true. Format your PSP on the PSP and uh, then copy everything over. Now, a quick description of these folders real quick. This one, this just came with... Um, 503 Gen A. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'm keeping it there for safety purposes. This is the homebrew loader that is used with the Potapon exploit. That right there is the, well, redirector that goes to the homebrew loader for some odd reason. This is where you would put your ISOs and CSOs is that you would uh, hopefully back up yourself, but if not, download from the internet in case you don't have the ability to dump your own ISOs. I'm not going to go through how to do piracy and all that because that's technically illegal for most people. Then right here is your plugins folder. Here's the version.txt which you're going to use later on in order to downgrade the PSP. Otherwise, normally you'd have plugins and stuff like that in here and you'd enable them using your, well, whatever menu you use. Now, as for this one, if we go here and then go to your game folder, here are all the, well, except for these two things right here, everything else is all homebrew applications, basically. In your update folder, I have included not only the 503 installer in order for you to downgrade, but I've also put in the 620 installer in case for some reason you're in between firmwares. Like if you're above 503 but still below 620, you can use that to upgrade to 620 and then downgrade your PSP to 503 and then use the 503 gen firmwares. If you've gone past 620 onto 31 and 35, we'll go on how to enable homebrew on those, but supposedly you're due to a kernel patch, yeah, <laughs> due to a kernel patch, you're no longer able to downgrade once you get to those versions. But 620 is the, well, butter version, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. So yeah, if you need to update to 620, just rename this regular eboot, the 503 eboot to something, and then rename that one the regular one by taking out those first four characters, and uh, then you can update it, then rename it back in order for you to downgrade, obviously. As for that, inside the photo folder, you have your slim modification uh, chicken files in order to run chicken after you've gotten to 503, and of course, the Potapon save data exploit, and God damn it, that guy's messaging me again. <laughs> Well, let's just ignore Michael B, and, uh, well, that's pretty much everything you need to know. Just copy these five folders in one file to the root of your PSP after you formatted it, and you should be all good. And, of course, like I said, password is capital I-V-I, lowercase r, and the links will be in the description. Thank you, and have a nice day. Peace out. Well, not peace out just yet. We're still going to show them how to do this stuff on the PSP. And there it is. Alrighty then. This is Neon Blue, a.k.a. Rich Man, a.k.a. Pwned. And here's my friend... D-Man's Videos, a.k.a. X-Dude. Or Mr. Dude, whichever he likes to go yeah. by at the moment. Or Mr. Dude. Yes, Mr. Dude. Alright. <clears throat>
this video is simply going to show you how to mod an unmoddable PSP. For reference, I'm going to be doing most of it on my FAT 1000 model PSP, and Xdude is going to do a couple of the parts that I can't do on his Slim 3000. Yes. And just to show you people, this is currently on official firmware 6.20. And yes, I purposely modified the MAC address before I went on official firmware, just so that, uh, well, it'd be fun. Yeah, as you can see right there, it's all effed out. Okay then, first things first, you're going to want to go to your game section and load up Potapon. <coughs> fun, isn't it? I know, right? <laughs> and just so you know, normally when you first launch a Patapon for the first time, it'll say it could not find a save of some sort. Just hit create new. Don't worry, it won't affect anything. I've already done that, which is why it didn't pop up. Much better. Man, this camera's starting to hook up. Okay then. Skip the intro. Press continue. The annoying music. I like that music. It's awesome. Bata, 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 <laughs> bata. <laughs> Alright, load up the modified game save. Push any button. I choose to push X. Once it loads, hold the right trigger for two seconds, then let go. And voila! We have arbitrary code. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that nice background. God damn, this camera keeps on trying to focus in and out repeatedly like an idiot. <laughs> well then, just uh, go down to Hen, hit X. Once you do that, your PSP should be on, well, light custom firmware, as people like to refer to it, because it loads directly to the RAM. Ta-da! AKA 6.20 TN8, or TN Hen B, or whatever. Uh, Yes, basically 6.2 TN hyphen B. And it automatically changed my MAC address again for some odd reason. Who cares, really? Once you do that, you go... Well, if you're on 6.2, obviously, you can just go back to your game settings. Oh, wait, no. Hit the home button. Oh, no, select button, my bad. To open up your VSH. Home. Yes, the VS, uh, VSH menu. How nice and wonderful. Right there, spoof version enabled. And then I know that there is another setting down here. Fake index. Enable that and then reset VHS or VSH. Yep. And there it is starting back up. Hopefully with the modified version.txt enabled. Now that we've done that, go to game, memory card, and then the 5.03 official update. Oh yeah. What do you know? It loads. <laughs> so the version.txt actually worked. Awesome. It's always that little index mode that people keep forgetting. It's always defaultly It's disabled. very magical when the update is done. With that special blue screen. You gotta <laughs> love it. Oh yeah. The blue screen of life, as I like to call it. Oh yeah. With I wonder how many people freak out when they life. get it. They're like, oh crap, my PSP. <laughs> Pretty much. I do not...